Good morning, Phoenix class, and welcome to today's maths lesson. I can calculate the mean. So we started learning all about the mean yesterday, and we're going to carry on doing that today. But the dividend is, the divisor is because the mean is something divided by something equals. Okay, so the dividend is and the divisor is. Let's go forward again. So we've already worked out that our dividend is 30. Our divisor is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our divisor is 5 because there are 5 judges. Therefore, the mean is 30 divided by 5, which equals 6. OK, so we can say that Ambika had a mean average score of six. So what about Jamie? Let's have a look at her scores. Well, six plus six is 12 plus another six is 18. So I've got 18 and I've got an eight. Didn't she do well? 18 plus eight is going to give me 26. So 26 is my dividend. So the dividend is 26. The divisor is 4 because there are 4 judges. So the mean is 26 divided by 4, which is 6 and a half, 6.5 or six and a half. So who got the highest score? It was Jamie, wasn't it? Because her mean average was six and a half compared to Ambika's, which was six. Let's have another look at that. So our little, what is he? A fox is telling us that finding the mean is a useful way to compare different gr compare groups of different sizes. So let's have a look at Ambika again. So we added together all her scores and it came to 30. We can draw a bar for that just to show that all the different scores add up to 30. So we can say that the dividend is 30, the divisor is 5. Can you remember why the divisor was 5? It's because there were 5 judges. So the mean is 30 divided by 5, which equals 6. And if we look at Jamie again, so again, we add up all the scores which gives us a total of 26. So the dividend is 26. The divisor is four because we had four judges. The mean is 26 divided by four, which is six and two quarters or six and a half or 6.5. So again, there we've got our confirmation that Jamie has the highest score. What we could do is use a bar like this where we've got four equal groups. So we can double check using the inverse. So we've got 6.5 plus 6.5 plus 6.5 plus another 6.5. And that, if we did all of that, would give us the answer of 26. So we know that we are right. And our boy in the corner here says, I don't think the mean has to be a whole number. He's absolutely right. It can be a fraction or we can have it as a decimal. So the other part of this question says, what other ways could you compare the skater's scores? Well, if we look, we've got Ambika, her highest score 
was 10, but her lowest score was four. So that gives us quite a big difference between those two. Whereas Jamie, her highest score was eight, but her lowest score was six. So the difference there is much smaller. The range is smaller. Another way that we could compare them is looking at which schools appear more often than any of the others. So Ambika, maybe we should say her score is five because she's got two fives. Whereas Jamie, she's got one, two, three sixes. So that would be another way to compare but we've shown it with cubes here. So here we're showing the difference between Ambika's lowest score and her highest score. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got a difference of six. Whereas Jamie's are much more consistent and the difference between her lowest and her highest is only two. Or as I've just said, we can look for the most common number or score. And Jamie's most common score was six, whereas Ambika's was five. So there are more than one way of comparing. But for the sake of today, we are going to still concentrate on the mean. So let's have a look at this one. Compare the mean scores of these skaters. So we've got Aki. So first of all, I've got to add up all his scores together. So we've got, I know that seven plus seven, that's going to give me 14. Uh, to that, I'm going to add my six, because six plus four equals 10. So that's going to take us up to 20. And then I'm going to add on my eight. So his scores all add up to 28. So the dividend is 28. The divisor is four because there are four scores. So the mean is 28 divided by four. Now, who knows their four times table can work that out for me. It's seven, well done, if you got that right. What about Lee? So let's add these up. Well, six plus four, using my number bonds, that's 10. 8 plus 2 is 10. Uh, well, two sevens are 14, so 7 plus 6 must be 13. So what do all of his scores add up to? His scores add up to 33. And how many scores does he have? He has one, two, three, four, five, six. So the, divide, the dividend is 33. The divisor is six. So the mean is 33 divided by six. Well, 30 divided by six is five. And I've got three sixths left over. Well, three six is the same as a half. So the mean is going to be 5.5. Who did best? It was Aki, wasn't it? Aki's mean was seven compared to Lee's mean, which is 5.5. Okay. What is the mean height of each athlete's jump? Let's do Emma's together and then I want you to pause the video 
and have a go at Lee's and Lewis's. But let's start with Emma. So 1.4 metres in jump one, 2.1 metres and then one metre. So I'm just going to add those up first. So I'm going to do it as a column. So the most important thing to remember when you're adding decimals is to line your decimal points up. So I've got 1.4 there. So then I've got 2.1 and then one metre. So where am I going to put my one? It's one one, isn't it? So it's going to go there and I haven't got anything here. But so I'm going to put a zero in as a placeholder. So now I'm going to add those up. So four plus one, that's five. When we're adding or taking away decimals, we just keep our decimal point in line. So then I've got two, three, four. So my dividend is 4.5. I think I'm going to have to do a little short division here to help me. I'm not sure I can do this one in my head. So let's write out our short division. So 4.5. And my divisor is three because she made three jumps. So let's work out the mean. How many lots of three can I get from four? I can get one, but there is a remainder of one. Now, remember when you're dividing a decimal, the decimal point stays in line. Then it's just a normal short division. So how many lots of Three can I get from 15? I can get five. So I've now got 1.5. So I can say the mean is 4.5 divided by three, which equals 1.5. Now, I want you to pause the video and I want you to try with Lee and then with Lewis. And then we'll see if we get the same answer. Right, how did you get on? So I'm just going to rub out Emma's and then we can have a look. So with Lee, the first thing I've got to do is I've got to add all my jumps up. I hope you remember to put in your decimal point underneath each other. Now, what do you notice? I've got more digits in the first number than I have in the other, so I'm just going to put a placeholder in. And then I'm going to add them up. So we've got five plus zero plus zero, so that's five. Five, six, seven. Don't forget your decimal point. One, two, three. So we've got 3.75. So the dividend is 3.75. The divisor is still three. So again, I'm going to put in, do a little short division here. My divisor is three. Again, when we're dividing, we just line our decimal point up. So I'm going to put it in there to start off with. So how many lots of three can I can get from three? So that is one and with no remainder. How many lots of three can I get from seven? So three, six, that's two. And I've got a remainder of one. How many lots of three can I get from 15? That's five. So the dividend is 3.75. The divisor is three because there are three jumps. The mean is 3.75 divided by 3, which equals 1.25. So what about Lewis? Louis. So his jumps are 2 and 1.2 metres. So 2 metres and 1.2 metres. I can do that one in my head. So I know that the dividend is 3.2. Now, what did you make the divisor? The divisor is two 
because Louis only did two jumps. He didn't do a third jump because of injury. So I'm still going to do my short division, but I've only got two as my divisor because he did two jumps. So how many lots of two can I get from three? I can get one. I put my decimal point in if I haven't done so already. I've got one remainder. How many lots of two can I get from 12? I can get six. So his mean average was 1.6. How did you get on? If you didn't get the same answer from me as me, what I want you to do is replay this part of the video and see if you can work out where you went wrong. Okay, now you're in the practice book. So if we look at number one, first of all, complete the bar models to show the mean number of dots on each of the dice. So in part A, it's all nicely scaffolded for you. It's written down all the number of dots. So six plus four is 10, plus four is 14, plus another two is 16. So our dividend is 16. Our divisor is four because there are four dice. 16 divided by four is four. And we can fill that in on the bar and we can double check by using repeated addition or multiplication to make sure that they all add up to 16. On B, we do exactly the same. They just haven't written the calculation out for you. But let's see if we can work it out. So 5 plus 1 is 6, plus another 6 is 12, plus 2 more, so it's going to be 14. So our dividend is 14. We still have 4 dice, so the divisor is 4. So 14 divided by 4. Well, I know my 4 times table. 4, 8, 12. So... So it goes three times 12 and it's got a remainder of two. So we could say three and two quarters, but that is actually the same as saying three and a half or 3.5. So again, we could fill that in on our bar and then we can use multiplication or we can use repeated addition to help us work it out. So C, again, add them all up together. Then divide. What are we going to do? What's our divisor this time? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six dice. So our divisor is going to be six. Remember, the dividend is the total they've added up to. The divisor is six. So therefore, you can work out the mean. Question two, find the mean capacity of these paint pots. Now, this one's a bit sneaky. Have you noticed? Look, milliliters, liters, liters, liters. So we're either going to have to convert them all to milliliters or all to liters. I think I will convert them all to milliliters. So I'm going to go. I've got 2,000 milliliters. I've got 1,500. Because, of course, how many liters, milliliters are there in a liter? There are 1,000. Well done. I've got 1,000 milliliters. It doesn't matter what order that I'm putting them in. I'm just putting them from biggest to smallest. And then I've got my 500 milliliter pot at the end. So let's add them up. So that's going to be a zero or oh, all a line of zeros. Five plus five is 10. So I put the zero down. I carry the one. So I've got two, three, four, five. So I've got 5,000 milliliters. So my dividend is 5,000. 
what's my divisor going to be? Well, my divisor is going to be four because there are four pots of paint. So now I can do my short division. Don't forget that your answer will be in millilitres. What are you going to do to convert your answer back into litres? I'll let you finish that one off. Question three. These tables show how much money two families spend on food each week. Which family has the greater mean weekly spend? So we need to add them all together for the Brown family. And what are we going to make our divisor? What are we going to divide by? We're going to divide by three. And that will give us the mean weekly spend. The Kapoor family, we've got four weeks of um, weekly spend. So again, we're going to add them all up and then we're going to divide by four. And then all you have to do is see which answer is the greater. Find the mean length of all the planks of wood. So we've got one, two, three, four, five there. One, two, three, four, five. So the packs are the same. So I'm going to ignore that and just count this as one. And that as one. Because both packs have the same number of planks of wood. So now I can add these two together. 0 0.8 plus 2.4. And how many packs of wood are there? This is one pack. And this is another pack. So we've got two packs. So my answer, which is the dividend, is going to be divided by two, which is the divisor. OK, you can finish all of those. If you feel mm, not too sure, then have a go at, and do the need more practice. If you're happy and you think, yep, I've been successful, then have a go at some of the challenges. Remember, it's the need more practice or it's the challenges. It's one or the other. And then you can finish off by doing your reflection. Complete this sentence. To find the mean set of, uh, so, sorry, to find the mean of a set of numbers, you, tell me what you do. Okay, good luck today. Remember, if you get stuck, don't give up. Just replay the video and have another go. Bye.